How's it going everybody? Odyssey64 here, back with another episode of Minecraft Mondays on the channel. Today's episode is going to be... We're going to we're going to try and go back in the nether and try and find blaze rods again. Because I... I definitely need those, so... Oh boy, that, that, this is gonna be fun. If you guys haven't seen my previous video, I suggest you go, you guys check it out. It was really funny, I was kind of poking at myself about how bad I am at exploring the nether of Minecraft, but it's all good. We're perfectly fine, and today, today's skin of choice is going to be Captain Toad. So, yes, we are going to be using Captain Toad today, because either the low profile will surely help me in the nether. So we're going to go back in there. We're at half a heart. Let's go. <laughs> okay, then. I step like half a block and I die. Nice. Okay, so we're back at the house now. All right, so here we are as Captain... T as... Captain Toad, and what I should do is I should go and get some more food, so that way I don't end up starving to death in nether. So that's what we're, so that's what I'm gonna be going to do, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and I got a bunch of food. I I'm smelting it right. Well, not necessarily smelting, but I'm cooking it right now. I'm on the verge of death. And we already have some raw mutton to go. Well, some cooked mutton ready to go, so... I might as well eat that so that way I don't die of hunger. There we go. That shall... That will satiate me until the rest of the food is ready. I wish I had more diamonds for another diamond pickaxe, but considering the fact that I already have one that's... And considering I already have, like, a spare one, I suppose we don't necessarily have to worry about this other one. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this food to cook and I'll be right back. All right, we have all of our food ready to go. Now let's go back into the nether and let's literally hope, and I'm gonna hope that I don't kill myself this time because I'm pretty sure, like I'm actually pretty sure I won't this time. Like, I have a good feeling like I've made enough mistakes now to learn from them, so. I think we should be good to go. So let's go back to that pillager tower where I put the nether portal before. And let's go. Now I don't know how many blaze rods we'll need. From what I remember, from what I remember, I'm pretty sure one blaze rod equals two blaze powder. So I think maybe 10 blaze rods is good enough. So let's go back into the nether. And if I just for the most part follow the path I made before, I shouldn't have much of a problem. Let's equip my shield this time. Wait, why am I left handed? That's weird. Oh, never mind, I'm dumb. It, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I just forget it. go from here. This is where I ended up getting lost. No. I do not want to play with magma cubes. I'm back at where the nether fortress was. Let's go. Okay, so the goal here is not to die. That's the 100% goal is not die while trying to get up to this fortress. And there's an enderman over there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. I think if we build out and we build up, that should be good. Oh, blaze rod, let's go. I think this is a good spot. Here's that lit forest bomb. Yep, that's definitely a fortress. That was weird. Oh, don't tell me. I hear them, but I don't see them. And sometimes it's probably for the best. Wow. So it wasn't just a fluke. From a certain distance, crossbows one-shot ghasts. I didn't know that. Like mid-range or something? They one-shot ghasts. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the Nether Fortress. That took forever. How many episodes did it take? Like four? Five? You're kind of like the little, like, short one that I did. Okay. So now we're actually at the Nether Fortress now. This is perfect. Dig inside here. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. There's our first blazing wither skeleton. Oh, uh, I probably shouldn't have equipped my shield. Ah, withering. Okay, that one didn't drop the blaze rod, so we're fine. Oh, I got 200 pearls. Don't you dare. Oh my goodness, bro. I'm just gonna run. Hmm. Well, apparently, this part of another, of another fortress has no interior. But at least there's a blaze rod spawner. At least there's a blaze spawner, which is great. Should have probably put my shield for this. Three hits with a diamond sword. We got three blaze rods. I think ten is good enough. Okay, how did I turn- how did I get on fire after crouch- after uncrouching? That was so weird. Alright, so we got three. So we made six blaze powder. How many ender pearls do we have? Um, okay, so we got blaze rods, so we were able to make it. We know where the spawner is. We know where to go. 
So let's go back to my storage facility and get the rest of my pearls. Okay, so let's take half of them. There we go. So we have three pearls for now and three normal, it's like in three eyes of Ender, we have officially obtained our first eyes of Ender. So what I'm going to do, oh, I should have made, mm, the hindsight's coming in now. I should have made, I should have made a, a brewing stand. That probably would have worked out so well. All right, so we'll go, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll go back there. We'll, um, yeah, let's go back in there. Let's get like about, I don't know, three more for now. And then I'll come back to it a little bit later. Oh, there's another Enderman. Bro, Enderman spawn like crazy here, I mean, I've never actually seen one of these biomes in a survival before, so... <coughs> uh, uh, uh. Let's go! What was that noise? Oh my goodness! Why? Magma cream, get out of here! Bro, magma creams are like the worst. I want to find like the interior of like I want to find the interior of like this um the other fortress honestly. Oh, that's a blaze. This seems like an intersection where or not. Oh, we're right back where I started, but I'm gonna run for a second because I don't have my shield. We're gonna get my shield, we're gonna get everything situated. Eat some food. Regenerate and we're good to go. shocked how this is a wooden shield and it's not burning. Shields really are the best thing they've made in, they've made in Minecraft. Is something behind me. That was weird. Okay. Um. Hold on. Let me check something. Instead of making a blaze, instead of making more blaze powder, I'm gonna try and make a. A brewing stand, which just take, it's a cheap build. All it does is just take cobblestone and, you know, all it does is take cobblestone and a blaze rod. Okay. So now we have our very first brewing stand. So what we do is we put glass in it. We put a special ingredient in it and we can make some cool stuff. But what I should, but what I should also do is make, um, like what I want to do is I also want to make um, potions of like fire resistance so that way I can like stop dying in the lava. And maybe some blast resistance for the future. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this glass, craft it into bottles, and then... Alright, so let's make like three... Oh, I made nine bottles. Okay. So I'm pretty sure if I just... No? Oh, those also take blaze powder. Oh, that makes sense. I say, but I thought you'd be able to put like other ingredients in it, right? Oh yeah. So it takes the blaze powder and then it takes all the other things. I see. So we'll take one. I say, because it makes three, so. All right, so that's ready to go. So you put, 
this, um, oh, oh, I know what I have to do. Oh, I'm stupid. I know what I have to do. I have to fill these up with water. Let me think, hey, I could just like put it, put them in, like, no. In order to make potions, you need water. So I'm pretty sure with these fire resistance potions I'm making, I should be able to, all right, so one, two, three. All right, so I'm pretty sure if I put these in here now, there we go. So I'm pretty sure magma cream gives you fire resistance. And if that's the case, then we should be good to go. Mundane potion? That's interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure this won't do anything. Yeah, no effects. So, um, imagine. I'm pretty sure I did that wrong. I think you're supposed to do an awkward potion first and then put the stuff in. But let's experiment to see what, let's experiment to see what we can and can't do because I've did a little bit of potion brewing before, but never like, just look at this. Oh wait, gunpowder turns them into um, splash potions, like the throwing potions, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I don't know what this mundane potion is gonna be about, but I might as well save that for later. Put these in here. But yeah, I know more about I know more about awkward potions than I do. Yeah, I know more about awkward potions than I do about mundane potions. That's probably like a whole different like potion tree or something. Like that may be how you get like your night visions and your um, stuff like that. Because I know how to make a water breathing one. Because when I played survival in like enough, like when I played like a different survival world, and I may show it off in a in a future video, but when I played a like when I played another survival world, it was me and my brother, and what we did was we always it's like my brother got into potion brewing, and and I found this um. I found this um, underwater temple, and then my brother figured out how to make potions of water breathing, which was by using a spider eye to make an awkward potion, and going from there with a puffer fish. But I don't remember how he made potions of healing, though. I may have to ask him. Okay, so then we make the awkward- oh, these are mundane still? That's weird. I thought those made awkward potions. Um, I'm gonna have to look about more about potion recipes because I don't know a thing about them. We have three mundane potions. We have three splash mundane potions. I have no idea what they're gonna be used for. I'll probably like, I don't know, like look something up about, about like making potions and stuff like that, but it's all good. Okay, so... What else can we do in this episode? No. There's actually something I wanted to do, actually, but I'm gonna go get my obsidian and come back. Okay, so over here, I was adventuring, trying to find my way back home when I came across this area over here. It's a savanna, desert, and grassland all in one biome. And you can see over the, there that there is a nether port, a ruined nether portal over there. And that's where I'm going to try and go. I'm going to, I want to see where that portal leads. And who knows, maybe it may lead to like a bastion or something, or maybe even a nether fortress again, which would be really helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm, is we're going to spend some time adventuring over to these coordinates over here. Negative 263, negative 335 on my horse, of course, because that's a long way to travel anyway. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go that way. We're going to repair the portal and see where it goes. Here we are. 
see, it's a ruined village, so there's not really much I can do over here. Oh, there's a creeper over there. And, and here's another ruined portal. Do I have any blocks on me? No, I do not. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I don't know where I want to put my horse. Oh, I could make like a two by two. horse from mobs like you. Alright, so I'm gonna remember this place. This is where my horse is. And let's go back to that ruined portal. Okay, so there's some gold over here. What's in this chest? A gold hoe with unbreaking one. Interesting. A gold helmet with projectile protection four and unbreaking three. Two flints of steel. Bro, that helmet is amazing. I don't think this is enough to rebuild it. I wonder what you need to make a, um, a respawn anchor. Like, I'm curious, okay. So, um, yeah, that's too small. It's one, it's one more higher. But I can do, like, that other trick that people do where it's, like, they just make it one higher, but then they just, like, skip a block. Because apparently that works. Uh, okay, so if it goes up like that, you two, I'll say you can cut the corners of it from what I from what I remember. All right, I probably did it wrong, but let's see if it works. Hey, it works. Let's go. Okay. So I have no idea where this one's going to take me. Considering the fact that I did kind of destroy it and rebuild it, I may actually go somewhere else that's different. But it's worth a shot. Get this rotten flesh and seeds out of my inventory. All right, let's see where we go. Four. It's the exact same portal. Uh, I mean, I guess. I guess I'll just go back then. For it to be somewhere new. Bro, what what's going on with the nether? It's so weird. Every time I try to exit, it's like a different place. Oh my goodness. I mean, at least we're not too far from home, but I'm going to end it here, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, definitely make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Expect a lot more Minecraft content to go. I'm pretty sure this is the 10th weekly Minecraft episode on the channel, so I'm, I'm glad I survived this long before going crazy and just quitting on it all together. And we're going to be doing something really special in the second in the uh, next episode. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It's going to be a fun one. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss that video when it comes out. I've been Honest64 and I will see you guys next time.